Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For this Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm gonna be showing Starlight Castle. Starlight Castle is this beautiful heart-shaped compact that is fairy tale themed and it lights up. This is a very popular set that I didn't have as a kid, but a lot of people actually do. And I've gotten a few comments asking to showcase this particular Polly Pocket. So here it is. This is the beautiful Starlight Castle. It comes in a medium-sized heart-shaped compact. It's also really thick and it's got some weight to it. I say medium-sized because there are definitely larger compacts that we've seen and much smaller ones as well. This is from 1992 and it's one of the earlier Polly Pockets. The exterior is very simple. I love how simple it is because it's very traditional. And of course, I had to give it a brand new super shiny logo. Here are all the characters and pieces that come with Starlight Castle. They've all been repainted and restored. I just released my Polly Pocket restoration video where I show you guys how I paint each individual piece. So go ahead and check that out when you have the chance. First, we have Princess Polly who is so, so gorgeous. I love her little crown and her beautiful pink dress. This is her Prince Charming and his name is Prince Casper. He looks so prim and proper. I love it. This set also comes with a horse and carriage, very beautiful, and a little tiny swan. Let's go ahead and take a look inside Starlight Castle. It's so beautiful and enchanting, it definitely fits the fairy tale theme. You'll also notice that it doesn't open all the way. It stops at a 90 degree angle so it actually stays upright like this. Let's go through all the beautiful details as usual. At the entrance, we have these little light posts and yes, this entire compact lights up. We're gonna see that later. Right through here, we see a beautiful enchanting park. There's a little park bench over here and they're playing croquet, it looks like. Croquet seems to be a very fairy tale type sport, doesn't it? You can see the little croquet balls and the targets. That's a lot of fine attention to detail. This is also a compartment where the battery goes. On this side, we see a lake where the little swan goes. There's also a pretty gazebo, which lights up. I love the stone texture that they added to the floor and the stairs over here as well. And the trim, this is a really nice touch and it's not flat, it is raised and it has got really good texture to it. I think this is what a lot of toys are missing these days, where details like this, like the lake, the flowers, the floor, all of these would just be one flat sticker. But I love how they really went all out on the textures. Going up this fancy set of stairs, we get to the castle. We see stars in the background, hence the name Starlight Castle. This is the cutest castle I have ever seen. Look at all the hearts and the pink. If I had a castle, this is what I want it to look like. The pink doors, so beautiful. Opening it up. Let's see what's inside. So much more detail in here. And again, these are actual 3D elements, whereas with other toys I've seen, they're just stickers, very boring. We see a knight in shining armor, and I think there's something behind this. There we go. Hidden secret chambers. There is a gorgeous, throne with a heart on it. That's my throne. I would love to sit there. There's a tiny kitchen area. That's way too small for a castle, but we have to try to fit it in this compact, so I'll let it go. The bedroom, of course, is very regal. Her bed has a gold trim, gold mirror, gold candles. This girl loves her gold. Here it is far away. It's so colorful and girly. I love the fairy tale theme. I love these double doors that open the castle. I'm gonna put the little swan over here. Why yes, it is difficult to play with Polly Pockets with long nails. There you go, she is gorgeous. Or he. By the way, this was all white and I painted the wings gold because I wanted the swan to be fabulous. Here is Prince Casper playing croquet or staring at it. Maybe he gave up because he's not very good or maybe he lost because Polly is too good and he's disappointed in himself. And there is Polly sitting on her throne like the queen she is. Thank you for making my childhood awesome, Polly. Now I'm gonna put this horse and carriage together. This just fits over it like this. So here we go. 
And I'm gonna have Polly sit on the inside. She's the only one who fits on here so Prince Casper can just find another ride home. This is so beautiful. I love this horse and carriage. It looks even better with a fresh coat of paint. Here's a sideways view since I'm filming at a weird angle here. Now the best part, which is turning on the lights. It's really hard to capture on camera, but you have to believe me when I say in person, it is so bright and beautiful. The stars and the moon look so magical. That gazebo and these pillars, so beautiful. Again, in person, these are so much brighter, but here you can see some light coming through there. There's also some light coming through the candles, which is really hard to capture on camera. But if you had this as a kid, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I turned my lights back on so you can see. You can still see some of the glowy elements, even in full lighting. It's also a really good night light, so I think I'm gonna put it next to me when I sleep. Once again, I have enjoyed showing you guys this Polly Pocket. There were a couple people who requested this, so here you go. I hope it brought back so many awesome memories. And that is the enchanting Starlight Castle. I really love the size of this. The lights are even more beautiful in person. You have to take my word for it. I can't stop saying that enough because I'm kind of disappointed my camera didn't really capture the magic, but just believe me. Thank you for watching this Polly Pocket Showcase. Like this video and subscribe to support my channel. My shop Pixqueaks is open in the link down below, so check that out. I'll see you on the next one.